This is dope, man. Daredevil faces Kingpin and Bullseye in stunning season three fan poster. Okay, I love seeing fan posters, man. I love seeing them. So when I heard about this, I just jumped on it. Matt Murdock finds himself in the crosshair as a Bullseye and Kingpin thanks to a new fan poster for season three of Daredevil, which comes out October 19th. I cannot wait for that. I'm definitely going to be watching that. Um, the, the wait for new episodes has been a long one. It definitely has. The first series dropped on Netflix in early 2015 to critical acclaim. A second season rapidly followed, premiering less than a year later. The Devil at Hell's Kitchen was last seen, however, forming the defenders for Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Danny Rand. The series was in cement with a lukewarm reaction, with even star Charlie Cox criticizing the pace. Regardless, the team up show ended up on a huge cliffhanger and anger, setting up promising things for Daredevil Season 3. Daredevil will pick up with the world still leaving Matt and Daredevil to be dead. Secretly, however, he will still be recovering from his injuries at an and nunnery. Wilson Fisk is released from prison despite still being in F FBI custody. However, we're drawn back from the shadows and in the conflict with the nemesis of the fans that have been eager to see since the show was first announced. Bullseye was teased via Easter egg in season one, but as officially being confirmed as a season three villain, a recent teaser even offered a first look at Bullseye in action. A new fan post created and uploaded on Twitter by artists Rico Jr. plays out this dual threat in stunning fashion. The image finds Daryl Devil in his full red outfit, staring down the literal bullseye of an iconic villain's trademark symbol. And I just want to give a big, 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 big shout out to Rico Jr. for his fan art. It looks fucking, it's going to look amazing. I already know it. Now, the shadowy silhouette of Wilson Fisk looms large behind him, no doubt, but referencing his being the architect of Matt Murdock's upcoming suffering. Check out the full image below. And like I said, man, big shout out to Rico Jr. for this again. You did a great job. Keep doing your big, keep doing your work. Look at that, man. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Now, the image is a striking one that fans will surely want hanging on their walls. I definitely will be. <laughs> I put that on my wall somewhere, man. As well as perfectly summing up the dynamics that will be on Sweat in Season 3. It looks like something itself straight from a comic. Now, in terms of the comic, Season 3 will apparently be put the more mythological elements such as the hand on the back burner. Instead, Daredevil, Daredevil will serve as a more of a criminal thriller. This feels like as as wise as a choice as the brush strokes that went into the crafting the image above. The, oh yeah, the above image. The Netflix slash Marvel shows were, after all, originally billed as a gritty street level interpretation of superheroes. While such mythical elements are to a degree able to work on Iron Fist, it only served to complicate the tone in past seasons of Daredevil. Although the Netflix heroes technically exist in the world of the Avengers and Alien Invasions, the shows are best when exploring more character-driven stories. Rather than tackling immoral, immortal ninjas, Daredevil is better served using the concept of superheroes to explore relatable terms and issues, much like Luke Cage and Jessica Jones before it. Now, like I said before, Daredevil Season 3 releases October 19th, on Netflix, and I definitely will, will be getting that stuff. You definitely will be getting my review on that as well. This has been your Share Speaks. I love you guys. God bless me. Make sure you guys hit that like button and the subscribe button. I'm out.